Church, out of, out of his presence, you will be successful and fruitful. John says, abide in me and I in you as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in a, in a vine. In a vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Out of his presence, you will be successful and fruitful. Amen? Amen. Out of his presence, you will flourish. Actually, naturally, you will flourish. Everything near God flourishes. Everything near God flourishes. Psalms 92 says, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the, in the courts of our God. In the presence, there is fullness of joy. Psalm 16, 11 says, Satisfa satisfaction is not in numbers. It's not in likes. It's not in social media. It's not even about how much money you have. David says, there is fullness of joy in his presence. David says, one day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I don't know about you, if you have ever experienced the presence of God, if you ever had a, even a hint of the presence of, of God, it is life-changing. Amen? You know, you will find everything in this world. You can, you, with money, you can buy a jet ski to have fun. That's great. With money, you can buy a nice car. You can buy clothes. You can even maybe even buy a girl, you know, because of money. But let me tell you, what you will never find in this world is the presence of the Lord. There is safety and provision in his presence. You know, as the children of Israel, there was a cloud by day and a fire by night. It protected them. It gave them shade in the daytime. And in the, in the nighttime, it gave them light. There is there's safety and provision. It actually protected them from the Egyptians when they were coming to attack Israel. The presence of the Lord protected Israel. There is revelation and direction in the presence of the Lord. Samuel, 1 Samuel 3, 1 says, And the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no widespread revelation. This is in the day of Eli. The Bible says the lamp of the Lord was, was coming out. Actually, they didn't honor the Lord. They didn't honor him. So wherever God is not honored, his presence is not revealed. And so revelation was rare in those days. Exodus thirty three sixteen says, The presence of God sets us apart from all the people of the world. Do you know what makes us different? It's not because we receive Jesus. Yes, it does. That's part of it. But it's actually having the presence of God living inside of you. Because what is going to distinguish you from the rest of the person? I mean, he sins, you sin. What's different? I'm, am I telling you to sin? No. <laughs> we'll get to that. But what, what's going to make you be different is God's holy presence inside of you. Do you know Daniel in the Bible, he was 10 times wiser than the rest of the magicians? It's because he had an excellent spirit. The presence of God lived inside of him. The Bible says he prayed three times a day. He sought after God. He was different. What is going to distinguish you from everybody else? Is it your church and knees? Is it your hallelujah, praise you, Jesus? No, no, no. It's the presence of the living God that lives inside of you that's going to make you different. You know, when David sinned, he messed up. You know what he said? He says, do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Psalms 51, 11. The presence of God brings vision and clarity. Somebody say vision and clarity. In Genesis 4, 16, the Bible says Cain, you know, after he murdered his brother Abel, he went away from the present, from the Lord's presence and lived in the land called wandering. Instead of living in God's presence, Cain left God's presence and he lived in the place called wandering. He had no purpose in his life. He had no vision in his life. You know, Cain did actually many good work, many works. I mean, his lineage built the Tower of Babel. But there was no eternal value in his life. All that stuff, God saw it as nothing. He was walking around aimlessly, no vision in his life. 
In the presence of the Lord, there is vision and there is clarity. Can somebody say amen? amen? Do you know what happened to his lineage? Actually, the world became corrupt and later God had to destroy it with the flood. Mistakes happen outside of God's presence. Somebody say mistakes happen outside of God's presence. Actually, church, everything far from God decays, corrupts by default. Anything close to God will flourish. There will be life. There will be joy. But anything farther from God, it's going to decay. Isaiah 1.9 says, unless the Lord Almighty had left some survivors, we, have, we would become like Sodom. We would become Gomorrah. That's the children of Israel saying, it says, God, if you would have left us, we would have became like Sodom and Gomorrah. Do you know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Where there is no light, there's darkness. You turn off the lights in this room, what happens? Darkness comes by default. Church, what am I, what am I trying to say? In the presence of the Lord, there's everything that we need. Everything that will sustain us and grow us. And anything apart from God is going to decay and wither away. 